Okay. Hey, you guys. It's your girl, Megan James, and you are now tuned into the Hollywood Group Chat podcast, period. And we have a very, 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 very special guest today. She goes by the name of Diamond the Body, DTB. DTB. Period. Hey, girl. Hey, How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you Okay, doing? y'all. I met Diamond on the set of a um, boxing match. <laughs> and, okay, so Diamond used to be on Alice TV. Which show you was on on Alice TV? Deja Vu. Okay, she was on Deja Vu, and me and Diamond was getting ready for the boxing match, and I noticed that everybody else was playing around, and Diamond was really working out. Like, she was in her little corner by herself, doing her little stretches and punches, because she said she was about to win that fight. Period. Okay. And did. And did. <laughs> I lost mine, but I kind of feel like they kind of just gave it to no, her. for sure they gave it to they her. They gave it to her? Absolutely. Okay. That was def like, there was just no way that she won that. If anything, it should have been as high, but... I don't think she won either, but we're going to get into that. Yeah. Because I heard that you had a fight with the same person that I had a boxing <laughs> match with. <laughs> and I want to talk about it. Okay. Okay, but we're going to first start off um, with your experience on being on TV. Like, what brought you to wanting to be on reality TV? Is that something you always wanted to do? No. No, 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 mm. no. So, I actually used to talk bad about reality TV. Like, mm-hmm. before I actually got on, I used to be like, I would never do that. Mm-hmm. Like, what? Them girls is fighting all day. Like, no. Like, so then um, Tilo, the owner of uh, Now That's TV, he was like, hey, I have the show coming out. You know, it's not going to be just about all fighting. It's going to be like kind of lifestyle. <laughs> no. <it> was- <laughs> okay, let me say, it was not all about fighting. Mm-hmm. It was definitely a lifestyle. We definitely did things. We went to the club. We went bowling. We, You know, we just did shit. It wasn't just like stick you in the house. This is just fighting all that. Yeah. So we de- then it was girls and boys, so it wasn't the typical. Mm, so it really like, couldn't be like all just yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I had a nigga, all type of shit. Like I was like, it was a it vibe, was a vibe. You know, little fights did happen. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say it didn't happen. It did happen, but it wasn't just for me. That whole show wasn't all about fighting. So okay, so versus Zeus, um, how was that compared to your Zeus experience with uh, baddies? <sighs> okay, so for. Now that's TV, I felt like, okay, I personally like Now That's TV better only because their filming time is way shorter. So how, what, what time is it, like, a week? For, yeah, for Now That's TV is a week. For mm-hmm. Zeus, it's like a, a month. month. <laughs> so I don't like to, I don't want, I, I never been anywhere away from, like, my home for a month. Yeah. And I didn't realize how much I would miss my home, miss my family, my friends. It's like... My regular program. Day-to-day life, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, damn, I'm just stuck in this. Like, it was nice. It mm-hmm. was beautiful. We was flying on private jets. We was different islands here and there. Like, I get it. It was great. Mm-hmm. But if I had to compare and say which one I like better, I like seven days. Let's do this and get it over with. And mm-hmm. What about the pay? Home. What Compared to the pay? Uh, Zeus definitely paid better. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like, okay, I feel like now that TV could – Pay the same as Zeus. He just don't. I feel like he, he, you got to be like, for instance, I'm sure he gave you more than he gave some other people for the boxing match. Yeah, because sure. Because you have a name. Yeah. So with me having a name, I always got paid more than even the other cast that I was, the other people that was on my cast. Yeah. And I'm sure like even now he might be like, okay, well, should you want Zeus now? Now we got to pay you, you know, a little bit so, more. Yeah. It just depends on who you are. I'm sure they gave Scrappy and fucking chaotic, chaotic. way more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that makes sense. But you know, Zeus is like that too. But um, see, you know, I did the first season of Baddies. I did, I think it was Baddies South. I did like a little cameo appearance. Mm-hmm. And people always ask me like, why don't you just go on the show? And it's like, I don't be understanding why like people go on the show until I did Bad versus Wild. Mm-hmm. And I got a nice little chunk of change for a one little sh- episode. And I'm like, okay, so if they pay me this for this one little raggedy episode, like I can only imagine what they're paying, like the Tommies and the Aubreys. And I'm like, okay, well then it's worth it at that point. Because if you're making like 150000 for a month, yeah. like who cares? <laughs> Absolutely. And now they got the budget. So definitely I feel like the more work you put in, the more like of a name you have, the mm-hmm. more money you're going to get. And that's what any network. Yeah. So, so who are you dating now? I am single. Oh, wow. How's how's single life? Uh, Single life is actually, it's fun. It's fun. I get to just, you know, be a hoe and kind of just move around, do what you want to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that sometimes better than just having one nigga Mm -hmm. because then you can't really, especially with what I got going on, moving around, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't want one nigga, oh, I don't care. 
exclude this nigga. Why too? Like, like mm-hmm. I don't need that right now. So, um, what is your ultimate goal? Like, after, you know, now this TV, you did baddies. Like, what's, like, the end goal for you? So, I am an artist. Mm-hmm. And my main, main goal is to be a known major artist. Mm-hmm. I want to get a record deal. I want to be on a major label. I want to be, you know, I want people to be like, that's not even the body, Period. the rapper. The rapper. Not the reality TV. Right. Guy. Which is cool for now. Because mm-hmm. I understand it's all steps. Mm-hmm. But, <clears throat> yeah, go check out my music. Period. <laughs> yeah, so that's the angle. I'm a rapper. I want to be a rapper. I want to be on tour. I want to be performing. I want to be like, just a rapper. So is there any hope for you and Gucci, though? Is that, is that done? Absolutely not. That is completely done. That's over. I, I'm trying so hard but to people love my y'all. name from him. <laughs> <laughs> I love this, too. Mm-hmm. But he just, he's not. Is it because he was in the porn industry? Like, is it hard dating somebody that's in the porn industry? No, no, it was not because of the porn industry, because at the end of the day, we both had our understanding. Work mm-hmm. is work, personal is personal. Mm-hmm. But that was a problem. He was crossing the personal, he was crossing the work over to the personal. Mm-hmm. And it was making me look bad. It's mm-hmm. like, you got these bitches on your Instagram, you got these bitches, you know, like, yeah, you, like you need to keep that at work. Shit. Yeah, yeah, keep that on Twitter. Keep your Twitter shit on Twitter. Instagram this should just be being you. Period. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, extra shit and then the bitches that he be choosing it's like bitch look who you how can i come behind you saying that you my nigga and you fucking her or you talking to her like ew, ew. <laughs> the ick you know <laughs> yeah. it's like man you have to either do better or keep it equal like mm-hmm. it's no going down mm-hmm. and then it's not like one knock down you going like five notches down mm-hmm. like bitch that bitch shouldn't even be able to touch you right like, he don't even it's know. It's like, after you date or fuck, a, like, certain girl, you, I'm like, I'm cool. Like, I don't want to fuck behind that. Yes. Yeah. It's like, he don't even know his worth. For right. Sure. You right. You're a fine black man. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't even entertain some, some, some of these bitches shouldn't even be able to get to you. So what were you doing before reality TV and, and music? Were, like, like, what was your first job? A stripper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. King of Diamonds. No, no, I have worked at King of Diamonds, mm-hmm. but that wasn't the first club I worked at. But, you know, I'm from Miami, so mm-hmm. I definitely had my sh- my time at KLD. Um, Yeah, I've been a stripper, like, all my life, for real. Do you ever go back and, like, work a, like shake a leg at the club every I now do. and then? Period. I, I would, Especially after, like, being on baddies and stuff, I would go back. You would make way more money. I do. It and people so- are like, why is she back stripping? Because she more lit now. It's so much easier. Like, yeah. I would be sitting there, and people are like, oh, her club. Yeah, I love you so much, and it's just like okay, they didn't just throw me the money. I'm Period. Like, oh, you ain't gotta do much. I don't gotta talk. I don't gotta finesse. I ain't gotta mm-hmm. say nothing. They love me. So, like, as far as your music career, what steps are you taking to get where you want to be in that? Like, do you spend like multiple hours at the studio? Like, what is like the day in the life of like Diamond the rapper? So I feel like with rapping, I don't focus so much on being in the studio all the time. I focus more on content, trying mm-hmm. to make as much content as I possibly can. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just promoting my music. Mm-hmm. So I might drop once a month three songs, but I'm always, like, every day on my Instagram, I'm posting, like, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, did you get to perform while you were filming Baddies? I did. Yes. And they cut that part out. They did? Yes. Damn. I'm so mad. I'm like, <laughs> why would y'all do that? Like, I'm trying to promote my shit. Y'all just cut my shit out, but, you know. Mm-hmm. It's okay, because. Stop fucking playing. Stop fucking playing with my friend. Period. Okay. So, um, okay, since you are a beautiful brown skinned woman yourself, we w- the fans won, because I had asked uh like a few of the fans like if they had any questions for you. Uh-huh. They wanted to know what do you think about Tinka Bella's bleaching allegations? Like <laughs> I don't think it's allegations. Let's start there. And then what is your po- okay, so what is your point of view about bitches that bleach their skin? I just think it's a form of self hate, mm-hmm. you know, and I don't blame her. I kind of just blame like society mm-hmm. for making it a thing where you know people have been always praising light skinned women mm-hmm. and putting dark skinned women down for so long. Mm-hmm. It's like it's kind of like a mental thing. It's like subconscious. Like you know, people, did y'all ever find any like bleaching materials in her room? We like, need it, babe, we could see it. What if she it's just had luck. like a skin disease? What's the skin disease? Vertiligo. Yeah, that but that makes you white. Yeah. But no, some, babe. So, it was like the black was right here, and then the knuckles was. The, and then the, so, what color do you think she really is? <laughs> She's the, you didn't see the before and after. I did, but you know, people be like in the sun, like girl, absolutely not. No. You ain't gonna get that lighter. She your color, damn near. Well, some of her skin is my color. <laughs> 
Yeah, but I just thought it was like a skin, like, you know, no. situation. No, some of her skin is definitely your color. And so, it's just like, why is there so much discoloration? Like, what Maybe happened? she'll come in the reunion and reveal to you guys that she has a skin, like, disease. She might. I don't know. what no. I wouldn't know what it was called, though. No, it's, it's definitely like an island thing. It's, she's... Oh, she's an islander. She's a Trinidadian. Mm. It's an island thing. I know, like, a lot of Nigerian girls do that, too. Like, it's it's very common. Yeah. We know exactly what it is. We know what it looks like when we see it. You know, hopefully she just stops so her color could just come back naturally. Mm -hmm. I think that's what she's doing now. So, um, is there anybody on your reunion hit list? I know that the Baddies Caribbean reunion is coming up soon. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you have some people on your reunion hit list? Uh, I had a bunch of people on there. Then I've been taking people off. Like, I be going, like, this is my thing, right? I be going with what's going on. I feel like people be trying me. And so it was like, bitch, I'll beat you up. You know what I'm saying? But I had Tink on the hit Again? List. Yeah. Y'all not tired? She keep going with this, like, <laughs> she's just going with this headlock thing, and this is just like, okay, bitch, now I got to, like, really beat you up. You know right, because I mean? it's just like, it ain't that. It's not that. Mm -hmm. Like, I was playing with you. Now I got to really, really take it in with you. Um, the girl Slim, the one that I just the beat up on the past episode. Okay, so that's the one that basically came for you for no reason when your hair was real, real, real cute. Yes. Okay, I didn't understand that. Yeah, she was, um, you know, I feel like she was just being a follower. She didn't want to fight the OG girls because she wanted to keep her. Like the piece, so she could po potentially right. still get Which back in the smart, house. but it just confirms that you're a follower. Yeah. Because me, I wouldn't give a fuck. I wouldn't care who the fuck it was. Like, like I would have like, had to beat up everybody oh, that voted me out. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. oh, you don't be here? Okay. And they stood up and said it, and then even Meatball said it. And she didn't want to fight me all because she felt like she didn't want to fuck her relationship with Tink or mm. she was scared Tink was going to jump in or whatever the case may be. Mm. And then the day you chose me because, you know, I'm by myself. You know, I don't have no too much alliance. I'm not yeah. with this crew. I'm not with that crew. I'm like, okay, well, I'll just fight Diamond. Did you make any friends on the season? <sighs> I did. I did. So who are you cool with? Biggie, mm -hmm. Anna. Anna is so funny. Oh, my God. I love Anna. <laughs> She's hilarious. She's, like, literally the funniest person I've ever met. Um, B, Anna, Callie, Gretchen mm -hmm. was cool. Uh, Kiva, Nunu, Sapphire. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And so, um. Oh, Jayla. Me and Jayla. Y'all are cool, family. like decent. Yeah. yeah. So, um, did you make any, like, surprise enemies? Like, did you go in there thinking that somebody was going to be like this? Because you've seen them, like, on TV or mm -hmm. you've seen them on past seasons and they were like, uh-uh, bitch, you ain't what I thought. Ah, uh, let me see. Or was everybody pretty much like what you thought they was going to be? No, like their personalities? I feel like... I didn't go on there with any expectations because I just know how TV is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? How Even, people act. Yeah, sometimes people are just different on TV than mm -hmm. they are in real life. But um, I didn't think that... No, I really expect everybody to be fake and flaw and phony and fail and weird. Mm -hmm. I always like project that first. So if it happens, I'm like, oh, you won't I'll be that. surprised. Yeah, yeah. But if it doesn't happen, I'm like, oh, you're you cool. cool. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, you cool. I like that. But I really, really, I don't think I thought that I would be that cool with Iggy. Because she's just, you know, I don't know. I never she's thought a little that we different. would be yeah. friends. Yeah. And we ended up being the best of friends mm -hmm. on the fucking show. I was like, so oh, well, how was working with Natalie? I asked, like, all my baddies guessed that. Um, how was it? Like, was it. Do you, do you feel like Natalie's, like, a genuine person? Is she a good person to work for? Is she a good boss? Like, do you think she'll bring you back for the next season of Baddies? <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you I feel? I think that Natalie is, like, in real life, I feel like she is a nice person. Mm -hmm. Like, she was genuine. She was very nice. Like, I didn't have no, nothing bad to say about her until, like, the very last episode. And she just completely switched on me. And mm -hmm. I was like... Like, bitch. Wait, <laughs> who what? are you? <laughs> exactly. Like, I thought we liked each other. <laughs> so then from now, I'm like, okay. But then I'm like, okay, maybe it's just TV. Yeah. You know, she just got to spice it up a little bit. Can't be too boring. But then, like I said, when she unfollowed me on Instagram, so I'm like, okay, is this translating off of TV? Like, <sighs> Natalie, she's weird. I don't know if she was... She's she's not a bad person. Mm -hmm. I'll never go around and just say she's a horrible person. She's actually really nice. Mm -hmm. But I feel like she's more nice to people that suck her dick. Yeah. Like, she's the nicest to people that's just overly... Oh, overly, like, kissing her ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like, for me, I wasn't overly kissing her ass, so she didn't give me 
that same, you know, it was like, okay, like energy. Like diamond, but, uh, yeah. So what sparked this beef between you and Big Legs? Like, I mean, I've worked with Now That's TV, and I feel like during the time of the boxing match, y'all was, like, not cool, but it wasn't no beef. Okay, so basically, she was friends with Judy, and I beat Judy up in season one of Bay Mm-hmm. So they just, you know, they was going back and forth on live, just doing a little... Kiki you know, Yeah, mm-hmm. so it was, like, an underlying, like, okay, you... You just don't like me because, you know, I beat your friend up. And then it was a thing about Gucci. It was, it was like she was, they was fucking Gucci. Like, it was just. Both of them? That's just what I heard. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So then people were like, oh, no, we don't like you because of Gucci. Like, that was the underlying situation. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, so it was just like a live thing. Just It, it, it stemmed from Judy. Okay, because that was because that was your that was who you was fighting. That was her home girl. And then yeah, Michelle was also like her home girl because I beat Michelle up too. So mm-hmm. it was like now I'll just be beating up all her friends. So with that being said, she just just didn't like me, mm. which is understandable. And so she started talking shit. That, that's why y'all had to fight. Yeah, we she started talking shit about me. And Wait, she made a diss track, right? No, not towards me. Not towards you. Okay. No, no, no. I think she. That was, but I don't. She, Lex is just, she's she's a terrible person. Like, I cannot say the same. Like, Natalie, she's really not a bad person. Lex is a terrible person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's mean. She's rude. She don't have no, like, respect. Like, she talk to everybody. Like, she's terrible. So, yeah, I don't like her. I don't like the way she, you know, talks to people on the internet. I, don't, I just really don't like nothing about her. So from what I saw, um, you were getting the best of her on the fight from the clips that I saw. Yeah. Would you um would you agree to that or do you think it was pretty even? No, I beat the bitch up. Are you a type of person that if you lose a fight, you will admit it? Absolutely. Okay. I'd be like, okay. She kind of got me on that <laughs> one, but no. I mean, I think the fight could have been a better fight. I think she could have squared up with me, which she didn't. She just ran at me, attacked mm-hmm. me while I had. I was trying to take. I was taking my shoes off to fight. Mm-hmm. I had got one off, and that's when she ran up on me. So that's when, you know, we started fighting. After that first round, I went, put my sneakers on, changed my clothes, put my wig off. I'm like, all right, come on, let's get this second round in. Yeah. She did not want to fight. Mm. She was like, I'm behind security. She's like, no, I'm not fighting you no more. I'm done, I'm done. I'm like, like, I didn't even get a fair fight. We didn't even get a fair fight. Yeah. And I still beat you up. But it's just like, why not, like, get a fair But I know she was scared. She probably just. You know, I feel like at that moment, she's like, okay, let me just attack her. Whatever happens, happens, but I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're not going you're not gonna to drag it. She didn't want to drag it. I want to drag it. I want. Oh, to you fight. wanted to drag it. Okay. Yeah, I want to at least get one fair Like fair, round. right. Yeah. They didn't let that happen. Especially even when now that TV, they're going to let you fight for a minute or two. Mm-hmm. They broke our fight up in like 10 seconds. Do you feel like they did that because like she's like one of their main hosts? Absolutely. Because I feel like that's, like, I like Lex. Like, I, I don't have no issues with her. Um, even after the fight, even before the fight, it was, we were just fighting because people wanted to see the fight. It yeah. wasn't because we had any beef or anything. But I feel like they just gave her the fight because, like, she's, like, the face of their company. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, um, but then I'd be so confused because it's, like, it, I feel like her and Tilo be beefing, like, every other month. They do. And I just be like, I don't get it. And then, like, like how do you, how does Tilo pick his, like, hosts? Because I'm so... Why is he trying to be mad? Friend, I just want to know. I, I, I want to know how he picks his host. One of the questions was, does she feel like she deserves to host her own show like Nina or Big Lex or any of the Now That's TV hosts? We get into it. We just want to know. How does he pick them? I don't know how he <laughs> picks them. Maybe just off of, you know, popularity or whatever. But I feel like you're one of the more uh, popular girls. I am. So I feel like you should have your own show. I should. And I, why don't you? We want to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know, when I did, because I brought this up, because I wanted the show, and I mm-hmm. was like, hey, what's going on? But he was basically saying these people have been with the company longer. Mm-hmm. So it was like basically their turn. Like, I just came on from Deja Vu. Only did Deja Vu season one, season two, close friends. Some people been on, like, a year before or, you know, started with the company. So, for them, it would have looked weird. Like, why she get a show before us? We've okay, but here. what about Ferrari? She been around? Yeah, she did Big Luck Show. Oh, she did do Big Luck Show. Who else got a show? Oh, Isaiah definitely has been around. Barbie. She had the show before me. Well, I have a question because I want to know the tea. So, I haven't talked to, to Ariel in a long time. Remember Ariel? Yes. What happened to Ariel? I don't know. 
she because it seemed like Ariel left and then Zoe replaced her. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I have no idea about the situation. None of them. Oh, I'm not in like production stuff. But yeah, I feel like he was trying to be loyal to people that's been loyal to him. I was with him from the beginning, so. Yeah. But I mean, your show came out like a long kind of what has it been a couple years? It has been a couple years. Okay, so that's a pretty long time. You I need think, a show. I think I do need a show, but I feel like <laughs> I could have just waited. So he don't just give shows to the people he'd be sleeping with. That's what I heard. You don't have to you could plead the fifth. I don't think he sleeps with everybody he gives a show to. Oh. Not everybody. <laughs> okay, I, girl. I, was gonna get a show. I mean, if I got a show, I wouldn't want people to think I no, that, I understand what you're saying, yeah. So, no, I but is, that. that could be the reason why you don't have a show. That's what I'm saying. Mm. You see where I'm going with this? No. So now, Tila, you got to <laughs> give me a show so you can show the people that it's not why you give me. I don't know. I don't know. It's just let, what I heard. Let the people know. Let the show them. Give me a show and show them that that's not why you give shows. Okay, so I have a question. But he's married. He just, um. Girl. What? I think that's, that's like a publicity scent. You think so? Mm-hmm. Oh, I think, um... Like, I low-key feel like Tila want to be on reality TV himself. And I feel like that's his way into loving hip-hop. Mm-hmm. Why is she going to start rapping and doing all this other stuff? Watch, I'm telling no, you. Oh, bro. That's <laughs> Tilo the rapper. I don't know. I feel like, um, Carly probably got some good pussy. That's like her I, third I, engagement. Yeah, I think she probably do got good pussy. And she look, she's really, really, like, looks really good for her age. Yeah, she probably, like, really know what she doing. Yeah, but, like, I just feel like Tilo... What's your, are you a tourist? No. What's your sign? I'm a Gemini. Oh, I love Gemini's. I'm Aquarius. Thank you. But um, Tauruses are very like, Tilo's a Taurus. And like, Tauruses are the type of people to do whatever they got to do to get what they want for the moment. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, whatever he wants, he's doing what he got to do to get it. I don't feel like it had nothing to do with her pussy. Well, we'll see. If he does appear on Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> we'll of course see. he will. Why would he but not? Why would he got his own network? But why would he not? It, like, no, like, you could I mean, put, it's a bigger you could put T-Lo in a crowd of people. Nobody's going to be like, that's T-Lo. Oh, right. So but you put him on Love and Hip Hop. You never know. We never know. We okay. Have to see. I'm going to ask about, I'm getting, I got some more questions. Okay. So it says, um, ask her why she snuck Bianca. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and does she regret having Mariah's back after all the public backlash she Okay, got? so they know why then. It, was that the same person that asked them two questions? Uh, No. It was, they're different people. Okay. Because I'm about to say, if you asked why I snuck Bianca, then it was, I had her back. No, 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 no. They're asking, like... Basically, I snuck Bianca for... For Mariah. Mariah. Okay, yes. they're trying to clarify that. Because a lot of people are like, why did she do that? Yes. I don't know why Zeus didn't put that in there. Because mm-hmm. I did the confessional on it. Hey, you know, Mariah's my homegirl. I've been fucking with her. I've been doing her since 2018. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I told her I, ha- I was going to have her back mm-hmm. before we got on the show. See, that's my thing. Okay, so I did a TikTok video about the whole Mariah and Bianca thing. I feel like Mariah, and I really like Mariah. She's cool as fuck. But I feel like Mariah be trying to secure her alliances prior to filming. So, like, she can feel like people have her back just in case. Mm-hmm. And I be feeling like... That's why, like, she, Mariah wanted Bianca to come on the show so that Bianca can have her back. Mm-hmm. Mariah be jumping into Tzatziki fights because she want Tzatziki to have her back. And, like, obviously off camera, you and her had a conversation and she wanted you to have her back. So it's just, like, she be trying to build alliances in the house and it's like, are you guys really friends? Or are you, are like, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind her trying to build an alliance, but I just feel like you got to have that same energy back towards the people that you built the alliance with. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, even with Bianca, like, you know, she came on a show fighting for you. You should have basically had her back how she was having your back. Right. Even my thing, even with the Sapphire thing, even though y'all came cool, it's like, well, shit, my bitch ain't, hey. That's on y'all. I'm, I'm Like, I'm riding behind her. Yeah. my bitch is riding for me, so I'm going to ride for her. And I feel like if she had that energy, mm-hmm. the show would have went a little different. They would have been a tag team. They would have been like, okay, well, bitch, you have my back. I have your back. Mm-hmm. But she kind of left her out with the sapphire thing. So I was like, okay, well, bitch, you're not even right. fucking with me. Why should I keep fucking with you? Right. And a lot of fans feel like you snuck Bianca um, over the baddies chain. And I'm like, N- I don't know so about that. So basically what happened was Mariah offered me a baddie chain mm-hmm. for this. Like, you know, she was I like her baddies chain. Yes. She was like, oh, you can have my baddie chain. Like, you know, she was hyping me up. Like, damn, I fuck with you. Like, you feel me? You want this baddie chain? I'll give you a baddie chain. Like, and I... I told her, I have the messages, I posted it all, it's all on mm-hmm. my YouTube. If you want to hear the full story, go to my YouTube, Life of Diamond the Body. Period. But, 
I told her, like, I don't want the chain. I didn't do it for a chain. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I was trying to, like, show her, like, I really fuck with you. Like, but I like, wanted to show her that I fuck with her. I didn't do it for the chain. Like, And I you just didn't like, like Bianca, move. right? No, I don't have no problem with Bianca. But you still did that to show Mariah, like, I got your back. If you I got, got a problem back. with this bitch, right. I got a problem with this bitch. It was like... After the situation, Bianca, it was coming out that Bianca was FaceTiming Asian Doll or talking mm. to Asian Doll in the midst of the situation. Mm -hmm. And Mariah's like, well, if you're my friend, why are you even talking to Asian Doll? If you knew she was coming on the show, like. And then Asian Doll was saying, like, Bianca was saying bad stuff about Mariah. Like, so basically, neither they weren't friends. They're just not real friends. That's what it's given. It Bianca ain't Mariah friend and Mariah ain't Bianca friend. It was a lot. At that moment, I felt like Bianca was not being a good friend to Mariah mm -hmm. at that moment. You know, when mm -hmm. everything comes out and all the back and the text messages and all that shit come out, it's a different story. Mm -hmm. But at that time, it was like, Bianca, you're being fake. You're being weird. You know, you was talking to her op before the fight, telling her op what she's about to do to her. Like, it was just It was a just lot. too much. And then it was a situation where Mariah... And Bianca, at that point, wanted to fight each other. Right. But Mariah couldn't get to Bianca. She mm -hmm. was like, sis, you got my back? I'm like, yeah, I got your back. So would you do another season of Baddies? I would if they call me back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, don't know if they, I don't know if they're going to call me back. They may. I'm talking shit. I mean. You know, I, I really believe that it depends on the fans. Like, if the fans fuck with you, Natalie will probably bring you like back. Like, the fans love me. But I don't think Natalie, she don't like me. Mm, I don't know. She didn't like Tommy. And Tommy ended up on. What, $173,000 check for three days? Like She did. I don't know. That's why I'm like, I don't know. I would love <laughs> to come back. I would yeah. love to do another season. I love, you know what I'm saying? But Natalie don't like me, and so I don't know. And I'm not about to kiss her ass. That's the yeah. thing. A lot of people want me to kiss her ass. They're like, please, don't tag Natalie. Don't be mean to Natalie. Don't. And I'm like, okay, well, That's what you want me to do? That's just not your personality. Yeah. Like, Natalie. <laughs> 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 let's hang out <laughs> like that's fake as fuck to yeah me. i'm not gonna just play up in her face just to get back on the show it's like bitch if you want me on the show you want me on the show like as a businesswoman you're a businesswoman you understand business okay this bitch is good for the show i don't have to like her yeah bitch, if the people like her they're watching for her Period. Bitch, her bring her back mm -hmm. but okay we're gonna play fuck mary kill oh god okay fuck mary kill gucci duke kill. from zodiac and lemmy what <laughs> hold up <laughs> say, say that again Okay, fuck Mary Kill. Yeah, the three Gucci. the three people are Gucci, mm -hmm. Duke from Zodiac House, or, and Lemmy. Wait, Duke from Zodiac House or Deja Vu? It says Zodiac. Okay. Is it Deja Vu? Uh, is there a Duke on Zodiac? I don't know. I never watched Zodiac. Okay, we're going to do Gucci, Tilo, and Lemmy. Oh, God. Fuck Mary Why Kill. <laughs> For sure, I'm killing Gucci. Okay, so by Gucci, you did R.I.P. You don't got nothing to do with it. Uh, I'll probably, why would you put this on me? The, my bosses, I don't want to, like, those two are my bosses. Who would you marry out of your two bosses? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to go with Lemmy, just because he's richer. Yeah. And then I'll probably You're just, just fuck Tilo. Because he, you know, he'd be good there. Period. <laughs> might, get a, uh, might get a bag, might get a show, who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Okay, so um, let's talk about what procedures you've had done to your body. Okay. Um, you could just tell us. A lot of people think I have a BBL. I never had a BBL. Did you get shots? I got shots. No. No? I just got lipo. So, I so you were already had, thick. Yes. And I just took the stomach out because I wanted that. Curve. And I already had it. Let me make this very clear. Like, <laughs> I've been the body since I was, like, 18. Mm -hmm. Like, I've been had that name. Everybody always told me I had a nice body, had a nice shape. I think my time turned, like, 20. 425, you know, weight. Because, you know, when you're young, you think you just eat anything. Yeah. So eating, eating. You know, I was getting thicker. Like, I'm getting thick. I'm getting my grown woman weight. But then, you know, I just wanted the snack part to go. Mm -hmm. So I still look like. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I did that. And what else? I got my titties done. Mm -hmm. um, what else? That's pretty much it. So you're pretty much natural for real. Yeah. And a lot of people, I'm like, when they be like, you got to be real, you could see. When people have BBLs, you can see the little holes right there. Mm -hmm. holes right there. I don't have that. Yeah. And I wouldn't, like, if I needed, a, listen, if I needed a BBL, I would go the fuck get one. Period. If I didn't look the way I looked, if I wasn't more like that, I would, I'm going for the look, babe. <laughs> so, whatever I got to It is what it is. Look, Let me get up under this knife. So, it's nothing against BBLs. I love BBLs. I love bitches with BBLs, ass shots, all of that. I'm for, I'm pro-surgery. Me too. I'm so pro-surgery, but me personally, like, my ass is just not thick. 
So do you have any kids? No. Do you want kids? No. So can you tell, um, like, everybody, like, where they can find your new music and your new projects you have coming up? Wait, whatever you got coming up next. 